everybody, Pat here from West Corners Custom Cycles again. Welcome back to the Underground Garage. Glad to see you back again. Uh, today we're doing a video, it's a tutorial on how to wrap your exhaust pipes with uh, exhaust pipe wrap, comes in all different colors. Uh, you pretty much get any color of the rainbow you want. But um, many of you have seen the uh, 1994 old school chopper build that I did. Uh, if you look at it, the first walk around I did on it, I hadn't wrapped the pipe shut. Front pipe was all rusty. I wasn't happy with it. So I wound up dropping the exhaust system. I wrapped the pipes in titanium. I did another walk around video. You get to see what it looked like before and after. Really a big improvement. But uh, today's a tutorial on that. So check it out. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell so you don't miss any uh, videos. Okay, as always, be good to each other. Be safe, keep the shiny side up, and live life behind bars. Hey everybody, Pat here again from West Corners Custom Cycles. Welcome back to the Underground Garage. Today we got a little tutorial on wrapping uh, exhaust pipes. Um, these are for Yamaha Virago I did. You guys might have seen the build. There's half a dozen or more videos to go to the build if you haven't. Go to the channel, check it out. Turned out really cool. But uh, I got it all done and decided I want to do a couple things to it. The front pipe on it was pretty rusted up. Didn't look real good. So uh, I wound up pulling the exhaust off it. Took the front and the rear header pipe. Painted it black and we're going to wrap them today. They're getting wrapped in titanium. That's what color it is. They have this, they have black, they have beige, they have pretty much any color of the rainbow you want. I've done a set in red, I've done a set in beige on my skull bike. You guys might have seen that in the introduction to my channel. Uh, anyway, painted up the collars that go to the exhaust, painted everything with uh, heat paint, which was 15 or 2,000 degrees, I believe it's good too. And, uh, okay, well, we, what you need to wrap these pipes eight plastic zip ties these you'll use first because it's easier to lock them down and quicker and then I'm going to go back once I get them all wrapped and zipped down the way I want them I'm going to replace them all with these metal zip ties now these metal zip ties there's actually a tool that you can get for tightening these down with Helps a lot. Okay, and a wrench to, to use with the tool. I highly recommend get a pair of gloves, rubber gloves to use. This wrap is made of fiberglass. Now, about this wrap, a lot of people um, that use it, they do it dry. Some people do it wet. I've done it both ways. I didn't really care for the wet. I don't really think it makes a difference. That's my own personal opinion. Some people, I'm sure, feel the opposite way. But uh, it's kind of your own preference, I think. And um, me personally, I don't want my pipes and my wrap getting all wet and then having to dry it out afterwards when it's already dry to begin with. I don't think it makes a difference in how, how it wraps. The stuff is made of fiberglass, so it doesn't really soak up a lot of water. That's just my opinion. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these wrapped. This is the rear one. I'm probably only going to wrap this from here down to here it's got a fin on it and I'm not going to wrap around that and that's all you're going to see of it on the bike anyway the rest of this corner down here at the bottom is going to be underneath the bike and I think I'm going to make some straight pipes to come off of that and the same with this front header you'll see all this where it's wrapped I'm going to wrap it from here down to here and uh, I think I'm just going to make a set of straight pipes see how it works I've heard good things. I've heard bad about it. Some people say you got to pull the, the carburetors, rejet everything, or it's not going to run right. And if that's the case, then I'll just put the stock exhaust back on. It's no big deal. But I want to see how it runs, what it does. And we'll go from there. All right, I'm going to get these wrapped. You guys don't want to sit here and look at me wrap pipe for half an hour. So I'm going to come back when I got this all done. I'm going to show you what I did, how I did it, how they turned out. Then we'll go get them back on the bike, and uh, then i got to get the rest of the bike back together. Um, you guys might have seen the video I did with the chrome differential I have over here. I put a new seal in it, 
I'm going to put a chrome swing arm and differential on the Virago. Like I said, some of you might have seen it already done, but I'm going to dress it up a little more, and then uh, I'll show you guys a walk-around video when it's completely done this time. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, everybody, we're back. Got the pipes wrapped. I uh, just wanted to show you how they turned out. They look pretty good. Now, when you do these, try and keep it wrapped as tight as you can. I started from the bottom and I worked to the top because that way the top layer overlays the next layer all the way down. That way when the wind's going over, it doesn't catch the edge and fray things up. But uh, another thing when you do you want to do is uh, try and keep your, your clamps spaced equally. These ones you're really not going to see on this end. But you want everything to look uniform on the bike, so you want to keep them kind of kind of uniform and space the same, you know, there and there. And when you're wrapping this, every time you do a wrap, cover halfway over the wrap you just laid. So if you got a two inch wrap, you want to overlay it one inch. And uh that's it. That's how they turned out looking. I'm going to go get them on the bike. Uh, where is it? This is what it'll look like with the collar on it. On the bike. Collar will be up like this. But anyway. That's what it is. That's a tutorial for wrapping the pipes. As always, stay safe. Keep the shiny side up. And live life behind bars.